What's up, everybody? How are we doing this fine weekend? Hope we're all having a great start to the weekend, and welcome to our weekly Planet Zoo showcase there. Community showcase, rather. We have some awesome stuff to show off there today. So, uh, again, so glad that everyone could make it. And yeah, we're gonna kind of jump right into things because we have a lot to show off there. If you look down at the description, there's a bunch of mods to show off to start things off. It is like, I think I made it the title last week. It was the return of the mods. They are not stopping. I think we have 30 something mods ish to show off today. 18 of them are, was it 18 of them are from Leaf, I think? <laughs> Something like that. Leaf Productions is has been going nutso butso there <laughs> with the mods. And I think out of um, the 18 mods, like, I don't know, 10 are flamingos. Not really. It's only like four or five. But anyways, yeah, um, again, hopefully everyone's having a good one there. And yeah, we have some, uh, again, mods to look through. Uh, we have some custom scenery to look through as well. It turned out really, really nicely. So I'm excited to show that off. And we also have um, a few blueprints. You know, it's surprising. Uh, I was talking to Lion, hey, Lion Rider, there's Lion Rider. <laughs> I was talking to Lion Rider and Leaf this morning how blueprints have really taken a nosedive since billboards and uh, modding scenery has kind of uh, taken over, which kind of makes sense because a lot of the stuff we looked at with uh, bill or, uh, billboards, with uh blueprints rather were a lot of custom fonts or you know other things like that that we can do with billboards now there so and then we have a bunch of zoos too a lot of cool little zoos and little habitats there so noise oh and hey the uh, big shout out to ms queen it just popped up for me in my uh, little command center there thanks so much ms queen for the three doll hairs right there appreciate the heck out of you my friend so but cool let's go ahead and jump right into things so to start things off we got to go through the flamingos don't we we've got oh and i should preface if I sound nasally congested, I got my second round of vaccine yesterday and it is kicking my butt. Uh, starting at about like midnight last night, I got the shivers uh, and like hot flashes and just, uh, I'm achy, I'm all stuffed up and stuff. So yeah, the second dose of the vaccine is kicking my butt. So if I sound a little uh, not energetic and stuffed up, that is why, because I'm basically sick right now, it feels like. Uh, so but anyways, to uh, get us started off, we have the American, let's unpause it there, the American Flamingo here from Leaf Productions. And yeah, we're gonna see a lot of uh, flamingos there from Leaf. So here we have the female, and right behind it we have the male there. So there you go. Let me get my notes in place a little bit better so I can see chat at the same time. Um, second round is no joke. Yeah, people were telling me and I I, I didn't really believe them because the first round was totally good, but the second round, holy smokes. Um, but yeah, look at the Merc, yeah, Merca uh, Flamingo there. So the awesome stuff from Leaf. And this is just from Leaf because um, Leaf has been helping out with a few other mods, um, but this is just Leaf Productions there. So next up, let's go look at the, who do we have here? The Chilean flamingo. Look at this bright pink there with the kind of hot pink feathers and everything. This looks awesome. Love this. So here is the uh, male, and behind it we have the female there. Again from Leaf Productions. Basically every single um, flamingo that we see today are going to be from uh, Leaf there. So there we go, Chilean uh, flamingo there. Let's see here, other flamingos. You? No, we already saw you. <laughs> Let's. See. There we go. We have the Lesser Flamingo. Now, who decided this was the Lesser Flamingo? Chilean by Nick, Lesser by Jed. Ah, okay, I was just going off of the mod page. So I wanna update that because it, it just says Leaf Productions. I know you guys like to update stuff like that. So um, here we have the Lesser Flamingo. Who decided that it was a Lesser? I think this is a better looking one than the other two. I think this is a greater Flamingo. This is the greatest Flamingo. Don't let them, don't let them get you down like that there, Lesser Flamingo. Dolores, come on Dolores, you'll be fine. Don't let, them, don't let them get to you. All right, so there's the uh, Lesser Flamingo. Good stuff, circling around, there we go. Let's see, here's the um, other one. There's the male of the Lesser Flamingo there. Looking really nice. Let's see, we look at these. The Andean, okay, so here's another new one. I think this is the last one. Here's the Andean uh, Flamingo there. This looks so good. So yeah, would, would you be able to put all these flamingos together? Is that how it works? Or is it, you have to kind of keep them separated out? Cause I can imagine just putting a bunch of these different flamingos together inside like a enclosure and stuff, get a bunch of different color variations and stuff. That looks so good. Cool, so we got the American, oh, James. We gotta find James Flamingo. I don't know what they look like entirely, so. <laughs> you're missing the James Flamingo? I thought I, I don't see it in here. You're right, uh, let me look it up real quick. There was a few of them that I was missing. And I made sure to put them in. There they are. 
Where's James's flamingo? Now we've looked at this one before, correct, Leaf? We've looked at this before when it was a replacement mod, I believe. So, all right, let's go ahead and get the James's flamingo in there. Perfect. There they go. So let's see, we have the male here, a little bit bigger, a little bit more gray in there. Love the vibrance, and that's really, really, really nice uh, coloring throughout there. Really nice shading and everything. So nice looking. Update to be more realistic. It definitely looks really good. They're kind of confused right now, but <laughs> there we go. Um, but yeah, this looks really, really good there. So there you go. What is that? Five, five different um, flamingo species from uh, Leaf and others there. So that's awesome. Yeah. So those of you that have been wanting some more flamingos, uh, Leaf and crew have you covered there. So nice. Let's go ahead and move on to the. Let's do. Let's keep it in the birds, right? Let's keep it with some birds here. So and I may as well keep it with Leaf as well. So we have the emu here. So here's the uh, female emu from Leaf Productions and Just Leaf Productions. Looks like. So very nice. Love this. I wanted to put this in Thornton Hills Zoo, but I, I finished the zoo uh, before I realized that I had the emu uh, in there because I think it would have fit in really, really nice. But yeah, that looks really good there. Uh, where is the male? We'll probably stumble upon the male later. Is that it? No, that's the helmeted. Is that it? As far as they're not sticking together. There, there, there it is. Koa. Here's the male. The male almost looks smaller. I don't know if there actually is a difference, but it almost looks like the male's smaller. It looks really good. Trying my best to link all these. I know it can get a little bit, uh, a little bit tiring or whatever, but I appreciate it. Yep. And again, if you know if, uh, Cybris or anyone you know misses a link in the chat, don't forget they're always down in the description down below there. And these are all standalone mods too. I will point out if something is not a uh, standalone mod, but yeah, these are all standalone mods, so you can just plop them into your game willy nilly. All right, let's take a look at um, <laughs> the bighorn sheep ears who are having a bit of a time. Uh, you know, I'm going to help you out there, little guy. There we go. We don't need to do that. So here's the bighorn sheep from J2 Bex in Leaf Production. So I'm going to imagine that this is one where J2 Bex uh, went ahead and did the model and uh, everything like that. And Leaf Productions did the coding for it there. So there's the male uh, bighorn sheep there. That looks so good. <laughs> that looks really good. Is this the female? No, it's the alpine goat. Um, is that the goat too? That's a goat as well. Here's the female bighorn sheep. I knew they kind of looked goat-like. <laughs> um, and here's the female bighorn sheep there. So yeah, really good job there from J2 Bex and Leaf there. Good stuff. Right next to it, may as well go right here. What is this? This is the Greater Kudu. So this was um, put on the Discord or uh, submitted from someone else that wasn't the creator. Let's see, who created this? This is the... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Where is it? There it is, uh, by Mare G. Mare, Mare G I? Mare G? <laughs> I probably butchered that. But anyways, I think it was Seth or someone else uh, submitted this. So if you have a mod that you see that's not in the Community Showcase, do be uh, sure to submit it if you like it a lot there. So, but here is the female greater Kudu. And let's see, that's the Impala. Where's the... And here's the male. The male, look at the big horns coming off there. That looks so good. <laughs> this looks really, really good. Especially the face. Look at all the details right in the face there. Yeah, that's that's pretty close to like a frontier quality uh, model in my eyes there. So there you go, the Greater Kudu from Mergi there. Very nice. Uh, next up, let's do, let's see, is this the Impala? Yeah, we'll do the Impala. So the Impala was another one that was submitted from someone else there. This is from Phon um, Phonetic Mods. So here's the, uh, here's the, was this male? Yeah, the male Impala there. Looks really good. <laughs> Looks really, really good. So there's that one, and then let's see, where's the female? We'll go searching for the female real quick. There it is. A little bit more petite, I guess you'd say. But yeah, there is the female Impala as well. Man, everything, everyone's shitting. <laughs> Stop it, everyone. Jeez. Come on, keepers. You submitted, thanks. Yeah, thank you, Peter. And uh, again, anyone else, if you see a mod that isn't on the community showcase and you want to submit it, uh, definitely feel free to do that there. Because yeah, it is a very, very good quality uh, mod there. Very good. So next up, since it's right here, we'll go ahead and take a look at the helmeted guinea fowl. And this is from Persian, right? Yeah, this is from uh, Persian there. So this is the second week that we've seen something from Persian. And I actually have this in Thornton Hills Zoo, along with the uh, next guinea fowl that we're gonna look at from um, Leaf Productions. But yeah, these look so good. I love these. They, they're perfect 
uh, little filler birds, basically, for little aviaries to put around your uh, zoo there. You know, it doesn't need a big, ginormous enclosure or anything. Just one of those little side animals, those, you know, B class or C class or D class kind of animals. Uh, doesn't have to always be a big A class type animal there. So there is the, yes, keep pooping. There's the female and there's the male. They look pretty similar. So there you go from Persian. Shout out to Persian. Up next, we'll do the Vulturine guinea fowl, which I also have these in... Thornton Hill Zoo as well, because again, they just fit really, really well into these little small aviaries and one-off little uh, enclosures there. So here is the, uh, which one is this? this is the female. Love the coloring on it. Like the uh, the shading or the bright blues and everything, that's like crazy. It almost looks alien-like with the little red there, kind of in the shade right now with it. Let's look at the other one there. This is the male there. They use helmeted guinea fowl for pest control on farms. Really? Oh, that's interesting. T-I-L. Yeah, these look really good. Yeah, glad to see, uh, excited to see more smaller animals and birds. Me too. Yep. Yep, I was talking to um, a modder today, then they uh, were asking, you know, what animals are putting uh, ideas out there for new animals to put, and they were talking like the weasel and like bobcat and, um, you know, other just kind of smaller type um, little animals like that. That's exactly what we need, just smaller birds and smaller animals to fill in the gaps there. Uh, cool. All right, let's go forward here. Let's see, what do we have? Uh, we already did the bighorn. This is the alpine. Okay, here's the alpine goat, and this is perfect for like a uh, barn kind of setting or whatever. Uh, alpine goat from Leaf Productions and J2 Bex there. So here we have the female alpine goat. Was that Nela? <laughs> and let's see, where is the male at? Because I'm betting that looks a little bit different. Is that it way over here? Yep, there it is. It doesn't look too much different, just kind of has a uh, fur variation there. But yeah, there you go, the alpine. Oh, it's dirty. That's what it says, mud all over <laughs> So there you go with the alpine goat from Leaf Productions and J2 Bex. Really useful animal there. Um, let's see what else we have up next. Did you, did you. Uh, go, go, run. Run to Area 51. Do, 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 do. Good job. Uh, what else? Do we miss anything? Yeah, this. Up next, we have the Arabian Oryx. So the Arabian Oryx is from Leaf Productions and J2 Bex. Again, that, that's a good team there. That keeps putting out really good stuff there. So there is a the female of the um, Arabian um, Oryx. And look at just ginormous uh, horns there. I do say small animals. Give me the small animals. I need small animals. <laughs> so there's the Arabia, the female one, and here's the male. Look a little bit similar there with their ginormous uh, horns there. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, the, thank you. Yes, I knew there was one I was kind of glancing over. This is, re yeah, that's gorgeous, right? This is really, really good. This is really good. So there's that one and then the dodo, and then I think it's time to move on to the aquatic animals there. Yeah, but yeah, this isn't all the mods, by the way. We still have, like, two more mods to show off um, in the aquatic area. Where's the dodo at? Dodo! There it is. Dodo! There it is. <laughs> Look at this derpy-looking thing. I'm not saying it's a bad model or anything. It's just, it's a derpy-looking animal. <laughs> um, where is this is from? Oh, ba 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 Where is this? Should be an easy name to spot from my list there. There it is, uh, from TNT Games 999. The 999, TNT Games did the dodo there. So there's the male dodo there. And let's see, and then I don't know where the other one, they're kind of elusive. Oh, there it is. And here's the female there. Look at it walking around, it just looks so, oh, it just looks so derpy. I, again, I think the model looks great. Um, really got that kind of, you know, just, again, derpy kind of look with it. But yeah, there you go from uh, TNT Games 999. <laughs> uh, made a dedicated aquatic, what's that? Oh yeah, for your, yes, yep. I think it'd be better to show off the swimming and everything. So, exactly. All right, I think that is gonna do it for our land-loving animals there. Hey, just Goron. Domino's trying to get me, that's right. They're trying to fatten you up for world domination. <laughs> I think that is all of our land loving uh, animals there. So let's go ahead and move on over to our aqu more aquatic type animals there. So the first one up, cause it's right there is, well, <laughs> there's, we have the Nile crocodile there from Chicago Zohan and Mega Gaming Rex there. Uh, I think this was originally from Mega Gaming Rex for the model and then Chicago Zohan did the coding on it, I believe. Uh, someone is aware, uh, do let me know. Hey Primal, my big extinct pigeon boys, that's right. 
So here's the Nile Crocodile. Let's see if we can get one swimming. There it is. Look at the big boy. Swimming through the water there. Yes, animal welfare is turned off because there are penguins in here and I'm sure that wouldn't last too long. <laughs> but yeah, these, this looks awesome. I love the way that this looks there. So there you go. And next up from Lion Rider, we're gonna have the hot penguins, the African penguins. Look at this, how great that is. More penguins. <laughs> what was it last week or the week before when it was like the, the penguin takeover? So uh, the penguin revolution is not done just yet. It has one last gasp of uh, air there. So <laughs> looks like the uh, the modders have penguins down really well. So if you have any suggestions for penguins, looks like they can go ahead and uh, get you some awesome penguins. So there is the male. Let's take a look at the female. Pretty sure they're oh, kind of hate that they have this as an option. Okay. There we go. And here's the female. Pretty sure they're pretty similar there. Now we see the American Alligator. So yeah, we I'm pretty sure, yeah, we have a replacement mod American Alligator, so they'll probably get around to it pretty soon. Hey, Cyrus, how you doing? Yeah, no, you're not too late. We're just showing off the end of the uh, animal mods there. So yeah, there are the animal mods. Again, that was from Nicholas Lion Rider there, and the crocodiles were from Chicago Zohan and Mega Gaming Rex. So now we have the flamingo invasion. Yes, which animal is going to be next? Whichever one is easy for the modders to uh, model, basically, it seems like. It's like when they crack like a certain thing, like penguins were cracked, or not cracked, but just... Uh, made better. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we'll see what's next there. So yeah, big shout out to all of our... Oh, you know what? We'll show that off in just a second. We have one last little thing to show off there. So from the standalone scenery area here from Sleeping NG, which I think is... What is it? NP something on uh, Discord. But anyway, Sleeping NG on Nexus there has released a big old pack here for our Wooly Mammoth pack. So this is awesome. This is really cool. NDP, thank you. Um, so NDP on Discord, but Sleeping NG on Nexus there. Um, so this is really cool. All standalone mods. So remember my big speech from last week about standalone mods. If you know if you want to put standalone mods in, that's awesome. But just be sure to let everyone be aware that uh, any projects that you upload with standalone mods have standalone mods, or else it'll crash people's zoos. So I've already had a few people ask me, you know, hey, can you uh, upload Thornton Hill Zoo without standalone mods? I'm like, I don't have any in Thornton Hill Zoo, so don't worry about that. Um, but anyways, yeah, I just had to give my disclaimer out of the way. But yeah, look at these. This looks really good. So if you have a woolly mammoth type. Uh, house or you know a museum of any kind you can go ahead and plop those on it. i'm pretty sure these are not no these are not flexi color there there are some flexi color uh things in here though uh next we have the bones there hey heather we have the bones there hitbox is a little wonky uh there we go we can't change the color on this there so you, that is flexi color all day all night good stuff love it love it same thing with the um head here flexi color woolly mammoth head do, 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 do. Let's see, we have the little Easter egg on the cave paintings. We should try and find it. Ah, nice. <laughs> we have these uh, little like museum structures again, just like, you know, woolly mammoth tusks to kind of hang up there. Uh, pretty sure not flexi color, if I remember right, if I get it. I do know that most standalone mods right now do have a little bit of wonkiness with the hitboxes. No, so these are both not uh, flexi color, but no big deal. Here we have the very first, if y'all didn't know, this is the very, very first uh, standalone mod that was ever made for Planet Zoo officially there. So there's a little bit of history for Planet Zoo right there. Let's see, up next, these two pieces are the most useful items in the entire pack. In my opinion, like everything, like everything that we've seen up till now is fantastic. Don't get me wrong; I'm not like diminishing it at all. But these two items right here are more items that we need in game. Like these themed items are amazing. Don't get me wrong, but like these, like kind of just art shape type pieces that are flexy. Oh, these are so good. Um, but yeah, so these are just little poles basically, and they have a nice little texture and they're flexi color too, which is awesome. And then you have these little stands as well. Uh, so yeah, these are gonna be super duper useful. And these are the kind of, again, these are the kind of items that uh, are gonna make it really hard to not use standalone scenery because uh, they're just really versatile, um, kind of almost art shape type pieces there. So there is that. And then here's what Leaf was talking about here with the uh, cave paintings. Uh, and these look fantastic. Like these look really, really good. <laughs> like, um, so yeah, I can't wait to see these up in like more museums and animal houses and stuff like that so 
especially the tusks nice yeah they did a really good job so all right so leaf said that there is a easter egg on one of these there so we're gonna spend just a quick hot second to see if we can find the easter egg what do y'all think this one doesn't seem to have any there those little poles are everything i know i know it. those I, that's what i'm trying to tell um standalone modders to put more stuff like that in more little art shapes more little poles more little stands and stuff like more just tiny little fun little objects like that those are so useful check the backs too oh okay <laughs> oh i didn't know there was a back to it straight up okay let's go ahead and spin it around nice they're right in the light the yeah cables exactly earlier yeah, you know what you know what's up all right, so here's the back side there. Very nice. Let's see, we have some more. It looks like bears and deer and a big old something that might eventually be a rhino. <laughs> You'll give me hints on the big one. Right on. There we go. And here's the back of this one. What's going on here? They found the magic thing, and it was a woolly mammoth. I don't know what's the... <laughs> hey, Silver Fox, welcome in. Yeah, the, everything on here, the details on it are really, really nice. What's going on up here? <laughs> Is he yeeting a... <laughs> it's like he's yeeting a uh, little thing there. <laughs> caveman? Yeah, <know>. yep. <laughs> nice caveman uh, drawings there, so... Y'all are just gonna have to tell me. I don't. I don't know what the uh, Easter egg is. It's it's a too subtle. <laughs> All right, I'll let them go ahead and type that in. We'll show off the rest of it there. He's worshiping the killer penguin. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a killer penguin mod killing a guy. Oh my gosh, that's violent. That seems kind of random, but okay. <laughs> the only other mod he's made. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a really big inside uh, Easter egg there. Gotcha. Okay, so there you go. Everyone knows the uh, inside joke there, the inside Easter egg there for uh, that. Nice. So, and then the other um, pieces here, these are really, really useful. They're, they're actually just the uh, pads. Let me get rid of this and uh, this if I can. And the hitbox are a little wonky, but they're aware that they're, uh, the modders are trying to uh, fix the hitboxes there. Anyways, the, uh, <laughs> the woolly mammoth doesn't go on there. But these little... Uh, holding out these little uh, pads here these are awesome these are really cool you can definitely put uh in-game statues and stuff like that in there so yeah really nice stuff so overall that's the uh one of the first um scenery standalone scenery packs there so really cool stuff there again these two items right here are like the most useful items from the entire pack for sure for sure so um did you know they are working signs that's awesome really are these things are I didn't know that. Oh, they are. Look at that. Hello. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it does. It types it up there. <laughs> Wooly mammoth. So you can type it just like that and... That's fantastic. That's really cool. So awesome. I, uh, yeah, I didn't know that at all. So awesome. And then, so the only thing, and I will say this just because we have a few modders hanging out. The only thing that I, I request and probably other people will as well, it was a not a fun time finding these objects. I had to go through the, I had to literally go through and, you know, turn off the blueprints. I had to scroll through my entire thing to find this stuff. Like some of them, if you type in mammoth, it comes up. Like, oh, there it all is if you type in just Mammoth. Okay, I typed in Wooly Mammoth. Anyways, okay, so I guess if you just type in Mammoth, it all comes up. I was going to say, in the description on Nexus or somewhere, tell us what the names of these things are so that we aren't just guessing what where to find all these things. Because, you know, they're placed in props and construction and poles, you know, columns. So it was kind of a bummer to... Because uh, yeah, I think I typed in Wooly instead of Mammoth. And yeah, I only found like this stuff come up, but um, so yeah, put the names of the objects so we know what we're looking for there. So cool. All right, so there's that. We have one more mod thing to look through. One more mod thing to look through there. And that is gonna be from Sawdust Diorama. So uh, Sawdust is continuing his, now these are, um, this is a replacement mod. So everything else up before here was a standalone mod, even the scenery, but this is a replacement mod for in-game um, vending machines and stuff like that. So uh, if you've seen other things from Sawdust, for whatever reason, when he uploads them for me, uh, they come up kind of blurry. I'm not sure why, so I will show off how they look in his game real quick. 
because again for some reason they show up blurry for me but not for him so i'm not i don't know why <laughs> let's go ahead and turn on the display capture there so here's how they should be looking um possibly for your game uh, but they look like this in his game there so there is uh that there and let me switch over here and here's the other picture and this right there so there you go. That's so. Uh, um, I I want to show this off just because you know obviously they work in his game. They work work fine in his game for some reason. Like he's on ultra settings. I'm on ultra settings. But somewhere something is getting skewed there. I'm not too sure. But um. So yeah. I don't know. Hopefully they work for you guys. I think it's a really cool idea uh, to put name brand uh, type stuff in there for your games and stuff like that. So cool. Very good stuff there from Sawdust. And uh, yeah, uh, if someone else were to download that, let me know. Like, does it come up blurry for you? Because I'm just curious if it's just like on my end or uh, or what there, if it's on uh, Sawdust end or, you know, I kind of figure out what's going on there. So cool. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up the mod area there. And we're going to sh just kind of shift over all the uh, modders names there. So big shout out to all the uh, modders there for submitting their stuff. Again, if you are a modder and want to submit some uh, things there, go ahead and join the Discord and submit your mod. Um, if you are someone that has just seen a mod out there and you think it'd be fun to kind of uh, submit it, do be sure to uh, submit it as well. But yeah, so there you go. Big shout out to all of our amazing modders for continuing to uh, make this game relevant even after we won't be getting packs and stuff like that. So are there replacements or there are replacements? So yeah, they will replace the current um, vending machines in their end game. So cool. All right, let's head on over to the smallest part actually again these the smallest section of the community showcase which has taken a big 180 from when we first started the community showcase that's going to be the blueprints um so yeah in the past we used to have a bunch of blueprints uh and now we have the least amount of things which are blueprints so it's interesting it's interesting there so do 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 are you guys creating standalone content zero rigs now i don't believe they are but maybe um if, if modders are still hanging out in chat they heard me ask that question they'll answer you there so hey gecko boy how you doing uh so cool this is the aed defibrillator cabinet from ursus maximus ursus maximus has like one of the greatest names like to say out loud just like uh when when you say it you're just like ursus maximus and that's just like yeah <laughs> but anyways this is really cool little uh, aed uh, defibrillator cabinet there so that definitely uh, definitely add in some realism to uh, your parks. You know, definitely put this in like your opening plaza or maybe just outside of, like your guest service area uh, kind of thing. So yeah, that's really, really uh, useful there uh, from Ursus Maximus there. So biggest dickest. Yeah, I think that's what <laughs> I think that's what I think of. Or that's the way I say it. <laughs> I present to you biggest dickest. Up next. There we go. From Cyberus. By the way, it took me until today to like actually look like how to pronounce their name cyber s like i've been saying cybris s dan says cybris i think but it's actually like cyber s and i just feel so dumb that like they've been in my chat forever and they're now a mod and everything i've just been like pronouncing their name like so bad so so bad just because like i don't know <laughs> I've just been glancing at the name. But yeah, Cyber S. Anyways, from Cyber S, we have the Implied Backstage Greenhouse here. And this is fantastic. I think this is really, really good. So come on in here and look at all of this going on in here. We have all the water, uh, the waterings going on there. All the names for the different uh, plants and everything. So this would totally fit in in your uh, backstage areas or even on stage. That's nice enough looking with the wood and everything that um, you could totally put this on stage and have like a keeper talk in here or just, you know, guests be able to kind of walk. Or, like you have the uh, the hoses over there. Yes. Do, 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 do. I had it, for, uh, I had it right the first time. Oh, dang it. <laughs> but this looks really, really good. So there you go. There's the implied backstage there from Cyberus. <laughs> so we yeah, have really good stuff there nice let's go and then we're gonna look at some more stuff there from cybers later on so cool next up we have from jay rastic we have a bunch of fun things there from jay rastic so jay i didn't give jay rastic a big billboard because jay rastic did my job for me there uh as jay rastic already put their name down and everything it's like yeah thanks so much jay rastic now i don't have to uh put the billboard out there <laughs> um but anyways here is the defibrillator kind of goes with the aed defibrillator cabinet uh but here, we, here we have the defibrillator uh from jay rastic there and yeah it is a standalone piece there that you can kind of 
There you go. Hide me in your own wall, or you can just use the wall there all willy-nilly. But yeah, that is awesome there. Really good for interiors. And again, at the front of your zoo or anything like that there. So um, there you go. Uh, so there's the defibrillator from Jurassic. And then the next thing up from Jurassic is the four by eight half circle exhibits. Uh, these are the aquarium. So it's been a little bit since we've seen some uh, exhibits there from Jurassic. But if y'all have been watching the showcase for a little bit now, you know that uh, Jurassic has always given us some really cool uh, little exhibits there. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. And thank you yeah, again. Thank you, Jurassic. <laughs> so we have the Australia's Red Desert there. There we go. Kalahari Desert, Mojave, nice JT Gamer, yeah, I bet that was fun to watch him make that. You put a uh, desert ones, I, yeah, I was kind of wondering about that, I'm sorry to show them off because they're awesome looking, but um, <laughs> that's okay, you can update your blueprint, no problem. Yeah, these are awesome. Do, 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 do. So there are those, and then behind them we have the actual aquariums. Yeah, I, I was I was kind of wondering about that. Still gonna show them off, but um, it's all good there. So here we have the Amazon River Tropical Freshwater Aquarium. Look at that. We're gonna look at these at nighttime too, because uh, they always do some really good lighting there. Coral Reef Aquarium. The coral was made by Leaf and Drock. Shout out to some awesome creators there. It's really good. The Arctic Ocean Aquarium. Ooh, that might be my favorite, especially when, when we look at it at nighttime. This is probably look really cool. And then the do-it-yourself half circle. So there you go. Here's the do-it-yourself if you want to go ahead and just make your own there. <coughs> Behind us here, let's see. We have the aquarium um, aerators and filters. So you plop those right on top there. Up next, we have the California Kelp Forest. Oh, that's so cool looking. That actually might be my favorite one. It'd be so cool if like they could kind of um, get them to move in the water, like kind of uh, floating around. We have the deep blue ocean, open ocean. Oh yeah, <laughs> I bet this was the hardest one to make for Jay Rassic there. <laughs> and lastly here we have the Mariana Trench. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's pretty dang cool. I love that idea. Yeah, I love that idea. Cool, all right, let's take a look at these at nighttime real quick. All right, so uh, you look at the aquariums. Here we go. Here's the Amazon River Tropical Freshwater. Wow, that looks cool. We need some fishies. <laughs> we need to get some fishies in there. Coral reef. Looking good. Arctic Ocean. Yeah, this I always love your lighting with it. The kind of purplish hues there. Yeah, it looks really good. Mariana's Trench is a Canadian pop rock band. Oh, really? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Next up, let's see. Totally took hours to make the deep blue ocean. I bet it did. Uh, California Kelp Force. This looks good. This looks really good. I think my favorites are between this and the Mariana, Mariana Trench. You like the Mariana Trench too? Yeah. Yep. Deep blue ocean. Again, this, remember this took hours to make here. <laughs> and Mariana's Trench. Yeah, I love the Mariana's Trench one. Because of the lighting, the lighting totally sold it. It just looks very, you know, it looks deep and like desolate almost there. So wow, that looks really cool, man. So nice stuff there. And then don't forget, so um, Jay Rastic on their workshop page has a bunch of different ones like this, not just half circle ones. They also have squares and, you know, usually cover all the different biomes and stuff. And looks like they're always putting out some more different ones. So if you are in need wait, 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 uh, of um, some indoor exhibits and stuff, like some implied exhibits and stuff, definitely Jay Rastic has you covered there. So yeah use billboards there you go that's a good idea so an awesome stuff there from J Rassic. always fun to see some uh some items from them there so cool let's go ahead and move on to the next thing here from seth there from dh roof 1749 so we have what looks like the longest neck dinosaur in seth's dinorama um uh set there so this is the how in the heck do you pronounce this the man <laughs> the man memenanichisaurus dino what <laughs> <laughs> the Memenichi. Why do they make dinosaurs' names so dumb and long? It's a long necked dinosaur saurus, and <laughs> here it is from Seth there. Uh, so, this is part of Seth's um, awesome collection there of uh, Dino Rama. So, good stuff there from Seth. Some stuff. 
up next here from ZZ. Um, this is great. Um, we've been seeing ZZ post this in our Discord um, every so. Ma Menchi Eosaurus. Ma Menchi Eosaurus. Okay. Ma Menchi Saurus. <laughs> that one. But, anyways, from ZZ here, we have Shin Godzilla. And this is so good. I remember uh, they posted a picture with. Um, this Godzilla like having a big old like bolt of radiated energy coming out of its mouth and stuff like that. So I hope, or I don't know, it uh, kind of looks like Zizi might be um, making a little Godzilla map or like some sort of scene like that. So make it for nighttime on yours. Okay. This is why I always love it whenever the creators can make it. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> that looks awesome. I want to see this in people's just totally normal zoos. You know what I mean? I want to see this just like picking up like terrorizing just a normal zoo or something like that <laughs> oh that's that's really good so there you go shin godzilla from uh zz there and hopefully we see some more uh, godzilla inspired things from zz in the future so cool was that it hey guess what that was it for this this map there now it's time to move on to the zoo so wow big shout out to the uh blueprint creators there hey lovro um, cause yeah, we got some really wide variety, a good array of, uh, different items there between Godzilla, the Mimasaurus from, uh, Seth there, the Defibrillator and Exhibits. I'm, I'm hoping to see a lot more zoos filled with these, um, these aquariums and stuff like that. Seems like people are really liking those. So definitely fill your houses and interiors with more of those. Awesome, uh, backstage garden there, uh, or, uh, greenhouse rather from Cyberus there. Awesome. And Ursus Maximus coming in hot with the AED defibrillator. So cool. Yeah, shout out to all the creators. And let's go ahead and move on to the zoos. It's zoo time. Do, 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 do. How do you download that? What's that? All the blueprints? All the links are down in the description down below for every single thing there. So, uh, yep, yeah, you should be able to see all the links in the description down below. Cool. Let's head on over. Uh, we'll just go, honestly, we're going to go backwards to forwards. So we're going to start with Greenfield Zoo there, mods. Greenfield Zoo. The Flamingo inv Invasion was pretty great there, yep. Yeah, shortest blueprint showcase ever. I think you're right. I was kind of surprised when we were done with the Godzilla. I was like, wait, is there anything more? <laughs> so yeah, hey, blueprint makers, the ball is in your court. The modders, and to an extent, the zoo creators, habitat creators, are winning. Are y'all going to sit back idly and let the... Modders and zoo creators beat you week in, week out. We need some more blueprints there. <laughs> no, again, I think it's just one of those natural things that happens with the Planet Games is once we get, you know, modding in and we get like Theme Maker's Toolkit items and uh, get billboards and other create, uh, creative tools at our disposal, you know, certain other aspects of the game kind of uh, go die down a little bit and you know we've had a year and a half of blueprint items so um i think it was lion rider nicholas he he made a really good point that you know if, if there's some sort of backstage stuff or whatever that you need like dumpsters or strollers or whatever else you it's probably already on the workshop it's probably already been made um so yeah yep yep yep, yep. and more foliage when i know right azizi's foliage was awesome Hey, Lucas. Hey, yeah. Uh, speaking of Lucas there. Heading on into, I believe this is Lucas's zoo there. Yeah, yep. So we have Greenfield Zoo Update 3 from Lucas. So we have gone to Greenfield Zoo a few times, right? Yes, we definitely have. So we're starting over this way, uh, but just to re, uh, realign ourselves there. So yeah, we have gone to Greenfield Zoo um, a few times now. And it's always a pleasure to see some uh, work there from uh, Lucas, because they are always making some amazing items there. So cool. Let's go ahead and boop on over. Um, again, we're going to skip a lot of this stuff just because we've already viewed it before. There are past community showcases that have all that, uh, you know, viewed and everything. So let's go ahead and head on over to the uh, Asian section, right? This is specific, yeah, Asia Quest. So this is specifically Asia Quest that we are looking at there. So very good, very good, very good. Let's go ahead and head on in Asia Quest. So yeah, if you are uh, into realistic zoos and everything, I mean, oh, this is walkthrough. Uh, Lucas is all about the realism there. Look at that, big old aviary with some, it's like maybe macaws and stuff like that. Yeah, and that's the other thing, right? Just going the speed and quality. 
is always just top notch. Holy guacamole. That is fantastic looking. I just, one day I really hope we can get some sort of, I don't even know what words you'd use for it, but you know, modular builder that would fill in all the gaps right there. Cause it looks so good with the aviary up there like that. But uh, yeah, it'd be so great if they could fill this in later with some like in-game uh, aviary builder or something like that. Look at all the water and everything. Yeah, isn't this great, Jurassic? Absolutely. Yeah, look at this is where the birds go in and out too. That's their holder area, just in case there might be a backstage. No, nope. okay. Um, wow, that's really good. Okay, so there's the first thing. <laughs> if you can believe, there's the first thing. So it kind of boops you out here to the, looks like kind of the central plaza. Ooh, I'm getting some big um, Expedition Asia vibes from Thornton Hill Zoo when uh, Wyatt Andrews built it. I'm getting some big uh, Expedition Asia vibes. What do we have over here? Oh, look at that. Look at that, we have the Komodo dragon. Yes, auto netting, yes. Yep, yep, here we go. Let's get a, oh, look at him, he's actually going for it. Come on, buddy, go ahead. I almost, it's it's rare to see the animals doing some kind of neato speedo animations there. No, he's done. Uh, but here's the Komodo dragon habitat there. Look at all the backstage connecting up to. Don't want to miss backstage. Oh, look at that garden. Let's, oh, you know what? Um, let me see if I can find that real quick. I just downloaded this as well from someone, I believe. Oh, no, I can't see it there. Anyways, um, I have this in Thornhill Zoo as well, but that's a really, really cool use there. Look at that little backstage ramp. I didn't even know that that was actually usable. That's so good. <laughs> that was so sneaky good right there. I don't know what it is, but this little like backstage entrance right there or exit, that like is really well done. Okay, so there's the backstage. Let's keep moving forward here. Oh, here's the um, little cart. We have this all over the place. Looks like this is a plushy cart now. They kind of turned it into a, uh, yeah, a plushy selling cart, a little gift shop cart there. That's so good. I want to take that. <laughs> do, 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 do. Looks good over there. Let's keep moving in. Over here we have, let's see, some bears. There we go. Um, created the chain link fence miser standalone and it's flexible because you use that for implied net. Yeah, they did. Yep. Um, probably a little bit too big and rectangular or square to use all the time. You could definitely use it in uh, certain instances. That's for sure. Definitely. Look at that. It's big old sun bear habitat. Wow, that looks so good. It's kind of the faded colors of everything, right? I think that's what makes it really feel uh, just kind of lived in and everything or just kind of like a zoo that's not all bright and super duper yeah, again, just bright colors and everything. It's a little bit subdued, like you'd see in a zoo. Looks like they have a little back area here, too. Oh, there's two of them. Look at there's two sun bear habitats. So you have the probably male and female or something like that. Here they are just all in one. Uh, but yeah, a little opening there for both of them there. Wow. Great details. Such a clean job. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, the uh, plaza here is very, very well... Uh, sculpted and everything look at the playground right there fits in perfectly oh really leaf perfect good that's nice to hear because uh i am ready for some birds <laughs> even if they are just you know props or whatever wow look at this view oh that's great that is really good we have the babarusas here and everything holy guacamole yeah zoo envy for sure zoo envy for sure Let's head inside here. Ooh, yeah, it's a really good interior. <laughs> Love the tile floors. Let's see, what do we have in here? Can't really see, it might be outside. Let's go up this little ramp here. Ah, clouded leopard. So it might be in there, just kind of hard to see, right? Let's see, I don't see it in there from the guest view at least. Oh, we need to get a view of the sun bears too. I love this little pocket view there. Wow, this is so good. Let's head back over this way. There we go, we got the outdoor kind of view there. Let's see if we can see the, there it is. There it is. There's two of them actually. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I love this netting here. I love the netting structure here as it kind of comes out a little bit. That looks really, really cool. 
There you go. Let's see, on the outside here, here's the, oh, is this the Binturong? There you go, there's the Binturong uh, exhibit. Oh no, someone's boxed up. I got you, buddy. I got you. There we go. But yeah, look at this Binturong exhibit there. Get used to the South America brick and everything back there, or the stones. Let's see if we can see one of the Binturong doing the, uh, the animation for hanging by their tail. I've only seen that like once or twice, but love how much they're uh, climbing on everything. Look at their little house back here too. <laughs> it's really rare, I think, to see them hang by their tail or whatever. And they did that. Cool, all right, what's behind us here? What is this? It looks like a rope course. I made a rope course before. How do you, I wanna go on the rope course. <laughs> how do we go on the rope course? What's over here? A little uh, path up here. I think this is the other sun bear habitat over this way, yeah. Yep, here's the other sun bear habitat viewing. Awesome little interior view as well. Uh, what else over here? Looks like there's a big little structure to go in there. Yeah, the coloration of the wood, exactly. Yeah, the, the wood colors are really good. What is in here? Oh, a backstage for the rhinos. Wow, whoa. <laughs> um, that's really cool. I love that there's like a planter right up here. Like it's, yeah, it's a backstage building and stuff and the infrastructure is really great, but just for that little uh, guest, you know, uh, viewing area, you have a little bit of the, uh, a little planter right there. What is this plant right here? Oh, I always forget about the tops of this plant. It's so good to use um, for the yeah, little grasses and stuff like that. Look over here, you got the other uh, views there. Wow, this is so good. <laughs> Loaded into the wrong zoo file. What, for uh, Beaks, Beaks Bergen or uh, for this one there? Because, yeah, I know how that can go where you've loaded the wrong one. You're like, well, that was about a 20-minute mistake. <laughs> you know, the backstage stuff there. There's the Indian <clears throat> rhino habitat. Actually, it looks like it's shared with a few other ones there. Estan loves that plant. Yeah, well, he um, got me to love that plant as well when we were doing... Uh, heavy into uh, Beyond Wolf Nature Reserve. Speaking of, I gotta get back into that a little bit. Love the bridge there with all the infrastructure. Wow. Okay, let's go back towards that climbing structure area. Let's see, so over this way, what's in here? Is this a cafe? Un cafe? Yeah. Oh wow! Look at the uh, the benches there. Looks so good. Very nice uh, restaurant. Love the views as you come out here. Looks like this is the ending of the ropes course gotta find the start as we're going let's go in here what do we have do we have here oh orangutans hello hello orangutan wow that's a great interior there for it hey inspector let's see their outdoor area oh here's where the climbing structures are yeah again i uh i'm just getting really big expedition asia vibes here from uh from white andrews there it's great wow this is whoa <laughs> whoa oh and here's the uh little otters yeah i've heard of that before where they have orangutans and otters uh sharing enclosures together there it is look up up there Jeez, i would love to hang out here all day and just watch them climb so i don't know if these climbing structures are up in the workshop or not but uh they, they definitely need to be. These are some amazing orangutan uh, climbing structures there. Look at that. Jeez, <laughs> okay. Let's go over here. Look at, we have the, um, here's the start for the course there. Yeah, really, isn't that great? Yeah, the climbing uh, structures are great. Yeah, the landscaping too, good point there. Yep. We'll go on the climbing course here. Look at Frank! <laughs> that's really good. I love that little touch there. <laughs> that's Lucas. Pat yourself on the back for that one. That's that's great. <laughs> uh, careful, Frank. Don't fall. <laughs> oh, this. Um, I've never done this, but my cousin did a ropes course, and they had this kind of uh, thing there where you're on the side of it. Oh, it looked terrible to do that. It's all in your core that you're having to hold on there. I'm too fat to do that. Oh, this is cool looking. Tightrope, Frank. <laughs> These are cool looking. Get here. Got the swinging logs. 
<laughs> uh, tight rope there, a little zigzag. Got the tires to walk on. Woo, woo. And then finally, whoosh, down there. And oh, look at the landscaping right over here. Wow. Hey, just. Is this a habitat? This looks like a habitat. No, it's not. It almost looked like a habitat. <laughs> That's a habitat up here, though. Kind of out and away. Up and away, I should say. What's in here? Oh, it's a it's a human habitat. <laughs> oh, I got the little... Uh, is this the pangolin? Yeah, the little pangolin there. But yeah, our uh, currently... Oh, just... Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's some Expedition Asia vibes too, having the pangolins up off of the uh, path there so that... Oh, excuse me. So, because yeah, they're, uh, they don't like a lot of loud noises or guests talking near them. So you kind of put a uh, the exhibit off the path a little bit. So you can kind of still see up there a little bit, but not really. It's not really meant for the guests to see. It's more for the animal to be comfortable there. He's trying. He's, he's very much so trying. We'll give him that. <laughs> we'll give him that. Um, cool. All right, I just want to do a big zoom out here, make sure we didn't miss anything substantial before we go nitpicking on all this stuff there. Do, 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 do. This is such a great take on Expedition Asia. Yeah, it is. I love that. I love that um, Expedition Asia was definitely the influence for here, and the fact that another Planet Zoo creator's custom area that they made helped influence another creator's area. You know, that's that's coming full circle right there. Um, and to Wyatt Andrews, that's how you know that's a really great uh, section of a zoo, right? The fact that um, it's inspiring a lot of other people to make, you know, sections in their zoo similar to it. Yeah, that's that's amazing. So Animal Hospital. Thank you, Lucas. Let's go back here. I think this is the Animal Hospital. If not, it's okay because I love a good backstage regardless. Oh, cool. Look at the facade is being held up. Oh, that's such a cool idea. I don't think I've seen that um, anywhere else. Yeah, holding up the facade there with structural supports. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, let's go into the animal hospital. Looks like it's over here. Oh, backstage. Um, let's go into here. Holy cow, it just keeps going. It's like legitimately an office. There you go, some of the cool backstage stuff there. Oh, speaking of, I've had this request a few times, and now that we have modders in there, um, in, in chat there. Um, I've had a lot of requests from people asking if we can get all this stuff from the, um, like all the facility and like staff room type stuff to use as like standalone props, like the locker and like the bins and uh, just all that kind of stuff. I know that a lot of people have been asking about that. So uh, that's so cool. All right, let's keep going because it keeps going. What the heck? Are these like backstage like kennel areas? Yeah, they're like little kennels or something like that. Another view there where we just were. I think Haribo did it in uh, Masula. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Haribo's another mad creative genius there. I love this. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, geez, the realism, right? Yeah, here's some more areas for the animals to hold uh, hang out in before they get... Assessed or anything? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Little pool of water there. Very small pool of water. There you go. Here's the big row where they can let them out, let them in. Wow. Okay. <laughs> See, we started over there, kind of got... Uh, circled around in there and then here's where they hold a lot of the uh, animals that they're about to look at there so wow 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 okay uh, I think Lucas let me know what did we miss or anything substantial that I missed um, is that water a billboard no nope because I don't have a billboard downloaded from uh, Lucas there I'm pretty sure it's just water let's check it out because that was a very small thing of water wasn't it <laughs> What is this? Oh, is this a... I have to know. <laughs> I have to know. Oh, it's the habitat enrichment. Yeah, it's the, it's the water enrichment. Can't click on it for some reason. There it is. Yeah, it's the water pool enrichment. Just kind of covered up. Yeah, it's 100% what it was. There it is. 
So there you go. Yeah, that's smart, right? Yeah. Everyone steal that idea. <laughs> There's a great idea for y'all to steal there. Perfect. So, all right. Well, hey, tell you what, if that is going to cover expedition or sorry, wow, well, I didn't do that on purpose. Uh, Asia quest rather. Uh, then I think we'll go ahead and head out, but um, be sure to download this whole zoo there. Yes, we are skipping, you know, a good portion of the zoo there, but uh, specifically we're looking at Asia Quest today because we have looked at uh, Greenfield Zoo in the past there. So yeah, big shout out to Lucas and uh, be sure to follow Lucas on the workshop because they always have awesome zoos and uh, workshop items coming out there. But yeah, let's go ahead and Macaux, Macaws. Oh, I missed, I missed him. I missed some Macaws. We do it this way because I don't see where they're at. There they are. Ah, okay. I thought we looked at this already. Okay, good stuff. Let's go over here. Good stuff. See, again, that's why I love it when the creator's here. There you go, the Japanese macaques there. I love this wall. That's a great wall. Can I have that wall? Please put that wall in the workshop. I want that wall. <laughs> Love this habitat. And again, um, really something to notice with the habitats is that it's on a little slight hill, right? Little, just a slight little hill right there so you can get some really nice views of it and everything. So something to consider there. Let's see, just in case. Oh, okay. So cool. All right. So we got the uh, Macaws. You kind of see them a little bit. Uh, not really. Um, but that's kind of cool how it uh, lifts up with the fake rock structure and stuff there. So, okay, cool, 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 cool. I think that is gonna go ahead and do it for Greenfield Zoo. Be sure to uh, subscribe to that, favorite it, like it, all that fun stuff. And yeah, again, can't wait to see some more updates there on Greenfield Zoo. So if you look at, if you click on the link down below for Greenfield Zoo, It'll bring into their it'll bring into like Steam, and then you can see on there it'll say Lucas 070's workshop, and then you can follow them once you click that and uh, take a look at the rest of their workshop. Because again, yeah, they have a, an amazing workshop. I use their stuff a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and head into Salmon Creek. So Salmon Creek is from Sawdust there, Sawdust Dioramas, and Sawdust. For the creek there, let me go in here. Community showcase. Because there's a little description for this one. There we go. So this is Salmon Creek. Just a creek bed you'd find in North America. Use it as the center of your zoo or a natural park. So yeah, those of you that really want some maps to use, some custom maps, this is a nice little starting map there. If you want to do a, oh yeah. Uh, if you want to do a North American style uh, zoo build and everything so this looks really cool yeah this is definitely a creek yeah you're right look at all that uh all the rocks there and everything so yeah that's a nice little starting point there for a zoo and i think what they were doing is they were modding in custom terrain texture for the um for the gravel texture to be like a terrain paint so you actually had the gravel all underneath of it there and looked really really cool so so why was I expecting not an actual creek? No, they were they were telling the truth there. They were telling the truth. Yeah, and it's a really good job, right? Looks really good. Some kind of cool little pictures there. Let me turn on, uh, there you go. Turn on some reshade action. Turn off my depth haze, there we go. Looks really good with reshade. I love reshade. <laughs> cool. All right, so there is the, um, the Stone Creek there from Sawdust. Or Salmon Creek, I'm sorry, Salmon Creek. How much coke did you drink to get this done? A lot, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I got a headache after that. Ugh. This dang vaccine, man. All right, up next, we're going to go to... Where are we going to? What did I just click on? I think it was Rogue Valley Zoo Phase 1 from Juno Beach. Hey, Squiddy! Salmon Creek is a good zoo name. There you go, so uh, go ahead and download that there, Grandpa Ben. Start Salmon Creek on uh, on your own. That'll be a good uh, start to a zoo. But yeah, I think I clicked on Rogue Valley Zoo Phase 1. If not, then it's something else. <laughs> I kind of went really quick there. I didn't see what I clicked on.
Boom, 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 boom. So while this is loading, um, for those of you that uh, don't follow me on Discord or Twitter or uh, Instagram or anything, I uh, went ahead and finished up as much as I'm going to be finishing. There's more stuff I can do. I know there is. But as much as I am going to call it finished, uh, Thornton Hill Zoo is done. So, yeah, last night I finished by putting in some cars, some backstage work, um, other things like that. But, yeah, all things considered, uh, I am calling that project done. So do be sure to keep an eye out for uh some videos and stuff like that coming up for it all right so we have looked at this before or not all of this but we've looked at a little bit of this before i think we saw the uh the big structure here uh last week there so we're gonna go ahead and actually skip this unless there is more new stuff in there i don't believe there is whoa am i already in an exhibit oh i am okay uh no it looks like it is the same as last week when we looked at this so yeah we're gonna skip that but um like i said if you want to see the indoor area of this amazing structure uh boot back last week uh because we went ahead and looked at the entire thing there and uh yeah it's, it's awesome it's really really good so yeah we're not gonna look at the interior today um but do be sure to go back to last week and take a look at it there so cool we're gonna go ahead and uh we'll start over here we'll start here so here we have uh looks like some nice a nice mixed species habitat there was this the sable um sable antelope the indian rhino and was there one more yeah it looks like uh oh that's just the female sable antelope there so cool so there's a nice mixed species habitat there using some of the recolorable water to make it look a little bit er <laughs> over here we have the pachyderm house awesome stuff let's go inside the pachyderm house there Ooh, hi frank get rid of frank <laughs> i've done that there before and on in oh there's an interior here for our antelopes and rhinos it looks like hey day creates another awesome creator in chat there what's up buddy looking through here i love this backstage and everything now i do believe that there may have been billboards um i didn't see any in the description unless i just kind of missed them but yeah do, uh, don't forget if you are if you do have custom billboards to let me know or put them in the description of the zoo on steam and i'll definitely uh, download them and put them in uh, we have a zoo that we're gonna look at later on that has uh, some custom billboards uh in there and everything wow this is really good you see how custom all this is right here like they had to do that all by hand right through there and then they stopped i don't blame them <laughs> they were like okay that's enough of that let's put in some concrete there so <laughs> right you the san diego zoo nice nice i'd love to go to the san diego zoo here's a nice little staff only area very pretty <laughs> yeah look at this backstage area so pretty up over this way here's the entrance area to the building or one of the entrances so coming right off of the indian rhino where that's where we started Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm going to call that there's definitely supposed to be some custom billboards here. Um, so yeah, just again, be sure to put those in the description of your Steam blueprints uh, so people can download them there. You forgot to put your billboards in? Ah, that's all right. Yours is a work in progress zoo, right? So we can uh, take a look at it in the future uh, updates there. Wow, this is really good. Look at all the good rock work and foliage work um, in between the moat there. Very nice. Let's see, up over this way. I think this is another entrance into the... Oh no, where's this going? Oh, there's an aviary. Look at this little... I didn't even see that from down here. Or if I did, I just didn't even register it. I guess you can see it uh, from down here, but it's just kind of blending in there. But yeah, there's this really cool little path that goes up there. You get these really good views of the uh, aviary. The one that's just poop you back down here. Yeah, just poops you back down. Cool, let's move forward. I like these little uh, tarp areas here, or whatever you want to call them. And then over here is the uh, one of the other entrances there. So cool. There is a nice little uh, look at the work in progress. It looks like we can go over here as well. Oh, that's a backstage. That's backstage. Um, but yeah, here's the uh, current work in progress for the Rogue Valley Zoo Phase 1 from Juno Beach 6 there. So there you go. Wow, this is really good. Can't wait to see some more updates there uh, from Juno Beach because, wow, look at all this good infrastructure and everything. Heck, yeah. Yeah, so heckin' inspiring. Heck yeah, it is. I'm with you. I'm definitely with you. Look at this cool little hoofstock yard back here. A little backstage there. Cyrus Maze Landscape. This is so this isn't from Cyrus. Um just so this is from Juno Beach 6. Just so uh just to be clear there. 
So cool. All right, I think that goes ahead and does it for that one. Let's go ahead and exit on out. And again, can't wait to see this zoo progress. So that's what we have a lot of zoos uh, this week that are uh, kind of half built or work in progress, which is awesome because it's we get little updates every few uh, few weeks to see how these zoos are going there. So always fun to see some progress on uh, on projects there. All right, up next. Stag Castle. Here's the second. Uh, here's actually the last thing from Sawdust there. This is Stag Castle. If I remember right, this was kind of similar to the Creek, where it's kind of a one-off little build. I think they were really feeling some one-off builds this week, which is really cool. Uh, so Stag Castle, an enchanted castle in the wilderness of Planet Zoo. All right, so let's take a look where we have a lot of trees and everything. Yeah, there's some random uh, little castle hanging out over that way there, so... Let's see here. We'll start right there. Hey, Tobes, how we doing there? Just missed it. I know, buddy. No worries. Uh, go ahead and boop on back there. And uh, you okay, Lover? <laughs> uh, let's go and look at Stag Castle here from Sawdust. Do, do, ooh. Oh, I like the little uh, effects. I always forget that we have leaves and stuff in game. That looks really cool. Look at this castle there. I almost want to switch up the lighting a little bit. go oh she's playing with the dog okay i heard my wife out there um talking to someone i was like who the hell is she talking to she's talking to her dog saying go get it go get it <laughs> uh, but anyways this is so cool looking and you know it's kind of interesting like this is castle one of oh it even has an interior courtyard this is like uh castle one of two this week we have another castle zoo to look at uh so it's kind of interesting how people uh, without even like knowing it you know submit like uh, you know or similar uh type things there but yeah this looks really cool the big moat going around it let's head on inside there really cool courtyard there some signs and stuff. Yeah, Far East Fabrics, the Fighting Cock. You can test your strength there. The Green Grocer. What else? The Rusty Nail Forge. Oh, that's cool looking. I love this forge. That's really nice. Hey, Sofana, Fana, Bobana. A fee, fa, Bobana. Over here we have some livestock uh, holdings there. What else do we have? Uh, the Drunken Buck Tavern. There you go. So yeah, there you go. Nice little one. Oh, I see more over this way. There's a little uh, one-off map there from uh, Sawdust. So yeah, they were just kind of having some ideas, and you can kind of jump in here and start a uh, medieval type zoo. I can totally see some uh, some modded type animals in there, or maybe make like a medieval farm and or a little village outside of it and stuff. So cool. Yeah, very good stuff there from Sawdust. People be vibing with castles. I'll tell you. It's just the time of year. They're just feeling castles. <laughs> All right, next up. Actually, speaking of, we're gonna go right into Castle Zoo, work in progress. And this is from, and they were awesome and let me know how to pronounce their name even. This is from Kezia. So Kezia has the Castle Work in Progress map here. And yeah, big shout out to them for submitting it there. And they also have some good uh, custom blueprint or billboard images with it that they submitted um, nice and neatly and everything. So yeah, really, really good stuff there. Making it easy on my end. Is a drunken buck when a deer eats too many of those fermented crab apples? Yeah, whenever you see a, a deer out there kind of walking in circles or maybe it's just kind of me. <laughs> like, oh man, Larry had a long night again. Was he eating those apples? Yeah. You know Larry, he's always... Going too heavy on the apples. Do, 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 do. Isn't it great? Uh, just go around. Yeah, the Impala mod I think is a fantastic. Yep. Yep. There are a few of um, deer type mods that we saw today that are really really useful. Hey, nice Sofana. If you take no worries, I actually loaded in beforehand to see how uh, to see how it was. It's really not bad. It's not bad at all. I, I think I get like 30 or 40 FPS in it. So no, no worries there, uh, Kezia. That's quite big with a substantial item. But it is, yeah, it was really impressive too. I got a quick little behind or a quick little look at it before uh, going live today. And I'm really excited to look at the details because there's a lot going on. That's another two to three weeks and you can submit it for the showcase. Hey, good stuff there, Gecko Boy. 
Good stuff there, Gecko Boy. <laughs> yeah, he's put a bunch of Impalas in the in the parking lot. <laughs> oh man, sorry, I'm stuffed up. I'm getting another round. It's weird with the the vaccine chills and pain and everything. It goes, in, it's like it goes in bouts and rounds are essentially i'll be sitting here and feel pretty good for a while and then just kind of all of a sudden just like boom you know it hits me like oh here come the aches here come the like hot flashes essentially oh man i'm going through one right now it's a little bit tough getting 5g installed in your body all right so we have here the castle zoo from kezia so really excited to show this off to everyone let's go ahead and go down the road here so oh yeah so we gotta look at the veterinary hospital too so here we go so car park and castle zoo right down this way really nice infrastructure there look at this start to get a little bit of the views there as we come in this is more like a theme park than anything else <laughs> let's unpause it yeah, and when it's on pause, I get 30 FPS in the zoo, so no worries about it stuttering my anything or, you know, whatever. But this little uh, bus park here looks really good. But look at this entranceway. This is just a little snippet of what to expect from this project here. Y'all are in for a treat. <laughs> Y'all are just in for a treat. This is wow, right? Wow. <laughs> the gardening, just everything about it. Look at the, they have a custom emblem right here. Castle Zoo. But holy cow, let's get down to guest view so you can really get a feel for the the grandiose. It's lagging a little. Oh, looks okay on my end. It looks okay on my end. Go ahead and give, her, give her a refresh. It might be on YouTube's end. I'm not getting any uh, notifications. I love all the gardening, but let's head in. And this is the main entrance. There's a uh, east entrance as well. Lagging here a little as well. Huh, interesting. Yeah, I'm, it's... Oh, wait, there it goes. Hold. <laughs> Hold. It looks like it fixed itself. It's, it's just doing little spits. So, uh, but here's your main courtyard here. Holy cow. Look, you even have little uh, doors opening up too. Big ol' center, like, eating area. Staff only, got some toilets, information. Yeah, I love that. Looks like you can get the staff members up top there somehow. Oh, yeah, right there. How do they get up there? Ah, there it is. They even decorate, uh, yeah, they even decorated the staff area, too. All the way up like that. What a, what a uh, staff area, though, right? All right, here's our first animals. Looks like we have some uh, peafowl. Hello, peafowl. Hiya, Beezy. What's up, buddy? Dude, I can't wait to explore City Zoo again. I was kind of hoping that you'd have that turned in this week, to be honest with you, but <laughs> but I understand. Uh, whenever you can get it in, get it in there. <laughs> wow, this is so nice. All right, there's that. Let's go over uh, this way. Big steps up. You got view over what is that the bear oh no tapir <laughs> yeah you know bears tapirs same thing very cool it's down here staff only so another staff uh building oh cool. we have a little work in progress that's that's nice i like the uh backstage uh vehicles and everything too yeah i swear these staff members get a better uh their break location is better than my house all right, let's head into the medieval center. Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> Look at all these murals. That's so cool looking. It's coming soon, trying to finish it. Oh, I totally understand. Yep, no worries there, buddy. When, when you feel good with it, then uh, send it in. Look at this. Wow, that's a reveal right there. I love that as you're coming in here. That's so theme parky. That is so theme parky. Wow, this looks like so medieval looking, right? 
all the smoke coming out of those pillars and everything just adds on to that kind of you know what i'm actually gonna turn on that there you go <laughs> i think that gives it a pretty good feel there when you turn on the reshade and off there we go kind of stutters the game a little bit um okay let's keep moving forward there's so much to take in come out to uh, looks like oh cool playground always love a good playground there like a little ice cream cart as well <laughs> i don't think i've ever seen because don't we just have this in game oh no no they made that i think it's in planet coaster we have a ice cream cone that no one ever uses um but yeah that's look at that little pink park there but preset is that on reshade yeah that's it's good right um i'll let you i kind of funked with it so i don't know if you'll be able to tell um but it's the misty preset from uh the bro nation so if you want bro nation and go into what planet coaster general chat look at the pinned messages um and then yeah i think it's misty's and others have pinned their reshade whatever's presets um but yeah this is essentially what i have obviously there's different you know levels for everything if you want here i'll do this i'll do this i'll go nice and slow through and if you really want to put in the effort this is all my settings for a reshade. So you can go back through and pause it and go your, you know, turn it to go slow and all that. But here is the exact thing. Because I don't know how to upload like presets or anything. <laughs> I'm sure there's like an easier way than this, but. Yeah, I, I uh, adjusted it heavily for the Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve builds to make it look really hot and sticky, essentially, and grainy. How do you do that? Um how do you do that reshade so yeah reshade is a external program that you install that you can edit the way uh, things look in game so there you go there's my settings do 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 all right let me turn this off there cool 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 all right keep moving on there look at this oh look you got the um the british kids play bus there was what the hell what is is that a helicopter Okay, we're gonna get to that. Um, anyways, <laughs> uh, here's the kids play area. I love this, it's so vibrant and cheery there. Really good playground there. Let's keep moving over this way. Oh yeah, there's like a boat dock too. So you have Pond West stop. Oh, look at that. It's like a, not a witch's house necessarily, but just that cool looking Tudor style style there that's super impressive that's super impressive i always love whenever you have like these overhangs going on wow that looks so good yeah but like overhang kind of tutor style that looks really really good <laughs> let's keep moving down this way there's so much to take in i'm definitely gonna be missing some stuff here today so be sure to download this everyone be sure to download this we have some tortoises because, yeah, I'm going to be missing some details there. Here's another uh, boat dock there. We have the uh, the Lemur Cafe uh, stop. Here's the Lemur. Oh, there's Lemur Cafe right there. <laughs> Holy cow, man, yeah, so nice. That's a workshop item. Gotcha, okay. It fits in very well there. And there we go, really good view of the Lemurs there. coming over to you helicopter <laughs> i'm curious about that wow that's so cool looking uh all right we're, we're gonna get to that helicopter in just a moment but there's not a path that leads over there i want to keep keep on the path for a little bit let's head back this way we're going into some work in progress stuff that over there Ooh, look at that structure off in the distance there i'm intrigued great little pond Looks like the boats go right through here. Let's see, flamingos! If y'all didn't get enough flamingos from the mods, here's some more flamingos. <laughs> it's taking you four months to do this. Holy cow. Ooh. Oh, it's like a little estate kind of thing going on over here. Like a backstage estate house. Uh, let's see. Oh, the education center and restaurant. Look at the big uh, foliage wall. See, the Amersley Manor Education Center. 
Wow. <laughs> and there's a restaurant over there, too. It almost looks like a beer garden. Staff only for some groundskeeping and... Oh, no! Mower's broke. Someone broke the mower. It's probably Jeff again. Dang it, Jeff! Quit breaking the mower. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, there's a gift shop with an interior. Let's go over there. That piqued my interest for sure. Ooh, really nice gift shop. Wow, yeah, this is so good. Oh, I like the little checkout area in the corner. Wow, this looks really realistic there. I love this gift shop. You can kind of go out the back here, too. Yeah. Let's see, what's over here? A little pergola or something like that. A little... Walking next to a nice pond there. Wow, really green there. Oh, it's a oh, it's a maze. <laughs> that maze is amazing. Oh, I should have looked at it from the top down. Should we should have tried to go through it, but I already I already looked at it from the top down now. So, look at that. That's so cool. It's very uh, shining, reminiscent, right? Cool. Let's go into the restaurant, and then we'll go into the education center. Nice fountain there. So we have the garden restaurant. I knew it. It was a beer garden. <laughs> Ooh, I like the ropes here. Kind of whoosh them away there. Yeah. There's the restrooms. Wow, the flooring is really nice. So what'd you use? The concrete? Classic clock tower four. What? <gasps> you clever SOB. I was, because I was wondering, I was like, that's not four meters uh, big. So like, what are you using? Because I love that texture. But look at that texture on there for the, uh, the the bottom of the clock tower. That's so good. What is this, a primitive square? Yeah. Um, wow, that's clever. That's real clever. And I'm totally going to be using that clock tower uh, bottom for flooring and stuff. That's so cool. All right, let's head over here. Love this uh, outdoor patio. So much to make a zoo that is around the Shining Motel or Hotel. Yeah, right? Ooh. Let's head into the education center. Ooh. This almost has some creepy shining vibes there. Let's see if we go into the in here. Oh, look. Full on interior. Boom, mind blown, right? Your pub's open on Monday? Nice. Noise. Oh, I like these little outdoor... What the heck? What did you use to build half of this? What is this? Oh, the tree cage. Dang, what's this? Oh, the umbrella. Dude, there's like two pieces right there that I just like forgot existed in the game, but you just use them in the most like clever way possible. That's so cool. So there's your outdoor heaters. Yeah, the outdoor heater. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> nice interior. I like your the uh, the wallpaper. You see what they use for the wallpaper there? The outdoor heaters are in the workshop. Nice. Yeah, that's a clever uh, clever build there. Yeah, I love the uh, the wallpaper going on there. Let's go upstairs. Chandelier is awesome. More uh, exhibit animals up this way again with some more <laughs> of the. Lovely wallpaper, quote unquote. Wow. The wallpaper took forever. I imagine so, yeah. It's uh but it sells it really well there. So cool, let's go ahead and back out, get a whole view of this whole courtyard area. Oh look, there's a uh there's a little garden or greenhouse over this way I missed. There we go, yeah. Yeah, your foliage work is on point there for sure. Good stuff. All right, we're going to zoom out a little bit just to get my bearings a bit more. So, wow, you can tell the work in progress going on. Wow, can't wait to see all that. That's going to be great. All right, let's go back over this way. No. So, work in progress exhibit there. Here we go. It looks like a savanna. A sofana. <laughs> 
I speak Savannah there. Oh, Estian is having a somewhere off in the distance. Estian is uh, his ears are perking up and he's feeling good about life because there's a waterfall in the zoo. <laughs> so the undulant overpass. Wow, that's cool. Billboards have changed everything. That's true. That's a good point. You can just use billboards for wallpaper now. Yeah. Yep. That's a really good point. I really like this uh, entrance gate. Or the Angelic Overpass sign. That's really cool. Nice views on each side. Oh, yeah. And they do. They have access underneath all the bridges. Oh, look where they're all hanging out. <laughs> that makes sense. They love the, uh, the shade and everything, right? On a hot day. A waterfall, I know, right? Estan is just having a field day right now. It's a great um, enclosure there. It goes all the way around this whole area. Get great views all around. What is this? I love it when people do this. These little scenes. Because you do, you see these in zoos all the time, right? Whether it's like education or um, just like a little thematic scene or anything like that. But yeah, you see these little things all the time. So that's really cool. Putting the uh, little... Scene or thing. Yeah, no waterfalls. That's right, no waterfalls ever. <laughs> Oscar knows what uh where he's at. Again, yeah, nice little scenes put everywhere. Cool, cool, cool. Here's the Oh, that's neat. Seeing all the zebras kind of herd together like that. Yeah, down this. It looks like the theme changes a little bit. Almost like a more classical limestone kind of vibe. I love this shot right here with all the clock tower and Greenhouse and everything. If you say waterfall three times in front of a mirror, will a stand up here? <laughs> yeah, he probably definitely would, wouldn't he? You rang? Oh, wait, I gotta get my voice high, high pitched like his. What's up, you rang? Yeah, it's me. I stay up. All right, let's head into the. <laughs> let's head into the greenhouse here. Uh, hey, Emma, good to see you. Whoa, wow, wow, wow. Foliage on point there. Love this huge greenhouse. Again, all I can picture though is like seeing some macaws or like other birds fly through it there. Wow, this is really good. He's he's restricting himself there somehow in uh in Lone Creek. Everyone start calling it Lone Creek. We're gonna we're, I'm gonna change the name of his zoo, whether he likes it or not, from Lost Creek to Lone Creek. <laughs> wow, that's so nice look. I love the shadows on the glass and everything. This is just whew. Yeah, right, Gaming Hyena? Wow indeed. Wow indeed. Sir no, there was no entrance over that way, okay. The greenhouse has a planet zoo blueprint? Really? With the interior as well? Or did you do the interior? That's impressive. Hey, there you go. Lone Creek is cool. That's right. That's that's the subtlety we need to do. It'll drive him insane, too. <laughs> I think he secretly really hates it. Actually, it's not even that much of a secret. <laughs> he tells me to go screw myself whenever I bring it up. <laughs> All right, I love this uh, transition though between the medieval and the classical. It, it worked really well. Included the interior. Wow, well, hey, shout out to Planet Zoo there for doing a really cool interior. <laughs> it's a throwback to Cold Cream Park, yes. All right, it looks like we're going to wrap it up. I'm pretty sure. No, 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 we have the veterinary hospital to go to as well. But uh, this looks like the last thing in the zoo. And look at this structure. This caught my eye immediately. Like, that is so stinking cool. Shout out to the Australia pack, right? But look at the uh, just intricate little detail pipe work there. East, thank you, thank you, yes, east uh, entrance as well. That looks so good. <laughs> and it, it encircles, looks like elephants, giraffe. Yes, elephants and giraffe take up Ah, uh, this big uh, enclosure there. This is great. And look in the middle, they have a, a glass too, so you can kind of look down in. Wow. <laughs> um, wow, yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, let's go over here. Nice food plaza. I love your little food plazas that you make too. You look really good. Food and gift shops and stuff. An ostrich, an ostrich. Can't forget about our good friend ostrich there. Coming through here, nice. Oh, we're in the staff area, nice, okay. <laughs> All right, so there you go there. Let's look at the east um, entrance area, which is right over here. 
Here's your other uh, parking lot there. So here we have the Castle Zoo East entrance, and welcome to Castle Zoo. <laughs> that turned out really well. So it's really cool the stark contrast between kind of see, yeah. There's the other main entrance over there, but look at the stark contrast there uh, between the uh, medieval castle style entrance and then this really big modern entrance. So it's you can really see the zoo like evolving and getting bigger. And they're like, okay, we you know it's the year whatever. Uh, the zoo has been open for a while. We need another entrance. Let's make it more of a modern entrance there. So I think that's such a cool little clever idea. Hey, race car and uh, bold. How you doing, everyone? <laughs> how are you doing, you two? I saw him say, hey, everyone, and I just read it. Uh, but how you two doing? Good to see you. But this looks really good. All right, let's head on in here. Got another Castle Rock or Castle Zoo there. Emblem. Nice. Welcome. So we head on over this way. Let's back towards the savannah. What do we have here? Ah, okay, so here's the Wall of Fame. I'm gonna assume this is the wall of people that you have billboards in there uh, from. So, um, or not billboards, uh, blueprints, rather. So there you go. I see some names on here that have been in chat and stuff like that. Hello, just go around. <laughs> just north of the east entrance. What's that? Um, oh, the kids stuff, okay. Just north of the kids, or the east entrance. Oh, look at it. There's an aviary over here. I know this isn't the kids' stuff, but we didn't see that before. Nice. Nice. Hey, is this what you're talking about? Oh, look at this. <laughs> you have little uh, riding uh, things there, little train that goes around. That looks so good. <coughs> Excuse me. I love the little train, the little choo choo. <laughs> That's perfect. And you got the merry-go-round as well. So yeah, you have this little attractions area there. So you gotta get some tickets for it and stuff. That's so good. Nice. So, all right. And then the last thing we're gonna take a look at here in Castle Zoo is the ever-elusive helicopter stuff going on over there. Because the helicopter is intriguing. <laughs> and that's over by the veterinary hospital here. So let's go down this way to the veterinary hospital. There it is. Make the helicopter noises in your head there. Or I'll make them, I guess. But as we come in here, we have the veterinary hospital, which has an interior and everything. That's such a cool shot right there. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's come on in here. Have our reception area. Have your research, food prep. Have everything you need. Really nice interior here with the window surgery, surgery two, staff room, storage, quarantine. We have an elevator. Oh, an elevator, so we gotta go up there. Gotta go up. Here we are. That's looking like a like a public area almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Public veterinary services. So you can just bring your animal here all willy-nilly. You don't have to just go to the zoo. You can just come on in and we'll check your animal out there. Yeah, isn't it really good? Yeah, rad interior. Uh, yeah, I love the design of this building. Me too, yeah, it's really nice. Especially all these little bookshelves and just, yeah, really filled it out. Really nice. Oh, it turns into like a museum on this side, essentially. Hi, Okapi John. Welcome in. Yeah, it looks really nice, doesn't it? Very nice. Cool. All right, I think we... I think... Let's take the elevator down this time. Ding! <laughs> Boom. I think we went ahead and saw everything again. Just can't understate the uh, the helicopter there. I think that's such a cool little uh, addition there. And then you have the, uh, the the livestock yards out here too. Or the enclosures out back there. So check the door by the bookshelves. Okay. Stairs to helipad. Oh, here you go. So you go the stairs to the helipad. Or is it this door? Ooh, is this a hotel now? <laughs> it's a hotel as well. I'd love to stay here. So yeah, I don't know who gets to uh, have the fortune of uh, staying in these uh, in these beds there, but they are lucky. Look at this view they get too. That's awesome. <laughs> that's really good. So cool. I think that's gonna go ahead and wrap up an amazing work in progress zoo uh, from Kezia there. Staff accommodation. So whenever the staff get a little bit tired, time to go just take a nap there. 
Time to take a little nap there. So very nice. So yeah, big shout out to uh, Kezia for uh, submitting this and can't wait to see, you know, what this mountain is all about. Looks like we have some more waterfalls off in the distance there. So, um, but yeah, it looks like we're gonna get some more updates in the uh, coming weeks and months on some more Castle Zoo. So yeah, be sure to go ahead and download that. I'm sure I missed some little details here or there. Uh, download it, like it, comment on it, favorite it, you know, all that fun social media stuff that helps creators out. And yeah, awesome, awesome job there. How expensive would that be? Oh, if you wanted to rent it out for a hotel room? Uh, Animal Kingdom prices. Animal Kingdom Lodge prices, right? <laughs> Alrighty. Not sure how many more we have to do there. Oh, not many. All right, so we have the Bayfield Reserves Part 1 work in progress. And this is from, ah, Cyberus. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Here's the last thing from Cyberus there. So this is a very work in progress. Um, and we're gonna see some more updates on this as time goes on there. So yeah, Bayfield Reserve, part one. Can we see Hobbit, Hobbiton from you? Who's, oh, Christina, I know. Isn't Christina doing an amazing Hobbiton? I can't wait to, I hope that they uh, submit it for the community showcase. Even if they don't, I'll probably just go snag it and, <laughs> and uh, look at it. All right, so let's head into Bayfield Reserve here from Cyrus. So, all right, I'm a member. I'm the, I am the member. Boom. So as we come in here, nice parking lot. Have some, looks like solar panels as well. Ah, so it's set in Canada. So Bold and, uh, Bold and Silver Fox are going to be stoked on life there. So, all right, ready, everyone? Oh, Canada. My, okay, that was good. So let's go ahead. <laughs> and then into Bayfield Reserve. Welcome. Bien, is that French? I can't speak French. Sorry. Uh, French Canadians. Do it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Gift shop. Souvenirs. Very nice. Look at those big plazas we first come in. Whoa, this is looking awesome. This is looking amazing. Is welcome in French. Oh, perfect. Okay, that makes sense. So is this set in, uh, what is it, Quebec? Is it set in Quebec or is that just kind of um, standard practice to have um, English and then French in Canada? I actually, I actually don't know. I'm actually not too sure. Bienvenue. Let's head into the gift shop there. 700 out of 10 already. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Bold is not biased at all with the Canadian love there. But oh, look at the interior. Look at the interior. It is a standard Canadian. That makes sense, right? You have two uh, main languages. So yeah, that makes sense. I'm sure in Quebec, it's French first and then English. So cool. Cool. T-I-L. And then look, you boop out and then bam. Got the uh, really cool gift shop viewing only ah i love that people are starting to do this more by the way um but yeah i love that you have a little gift shop only viewing uh deck here oh see this is so nice i love the wood that you're using here yeah the cabin style right yeah the cabin style is really nice so great job there set somewhere in ontario there you go in ontario there <laughs> um all canada everything has to be in both there you go do, 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 do. All right, so it's an amazing gift shop there. I love this plaza. This is such a like simple but creative little idea for this planter. I love how that planter looks. Very sleek and modern, um, and just making you know two diagonal sets away from each other like that. That's that's nice and simple. Like this little garden there. Everyone's been on point with the foliage there. <laughs> we don't talk about Quebec. Oh no, <laughs> there's some good fishing there in Quebec. Ooh, look at this. Oh, you got the ducks and mallards and everything too. There it is. There it is. That's your shot right there. Ready everyone? Kodak moment. The kink. Hey, Emma's Queen liked it so much that she donated $5. <laughs> Thank you so much, Emma's Queen. I appreciate the heck out of you. Um, yeah, thanks for the $5 donation there. Yeah, the community creations are amazing. Let's get some claps and hearts there for Emma's Queen for always being an amazing uh, contributor to the community there. This is awesome, Cybris. That's awesome. Same thing on this side too. The the little implied uh, geese and duck and everything, that's perfect. That's perfect. Little elevation changes too, not to go uh, unnoticed. 
There's Mount Drew. Yeah, it's Mount Me. That's right. Ooh, here we go. I got the reindeer. Or the is it reindeer in here? Yeah, reindeer. That's right. Caribou, reindeer. I really like your use of the in-game tall grass and like making little trails throughout. Nice uh, coffee shop here. Of course, has an interior. Ooh. Love the big tree there as you're coming up. That looks so good. I love the, the kind of rustic and kind of sleek modern vibes you have going on. Holy guacamole. That's so impressive. You get these really good views of the reindeer as you're uh, eating lunch there. Cool. Let's head over back behind. A little uh, brochure area. Hey, John. It looks like over here we're starting to get into some more kind of work in progress type stuff, but maybe not right here. Most everything has an interior. Good on ya. Good on ya. I gotta make sure to do that with my new project. Alright, so over here. Oh, look at this. What is that over that way? Oh, there's the bison. So that's where we were earlier. I love that you can see different animals kind of walking amongst each other like that. So it looks like, oh, Great Lakes over there. I know about those. <laughs> this looks like it's work in progress. Yeah, we're going to chalk that up to work in progress, but I am very intrigued by this Great Lakes there. Oh, hey, we just saw this, didn't we? Here's the uh, backstage little building there that we uh, looked at. What's this? Hi, Frank. Frank's out everywhere. Ooh, it's a house. <laughs> I love it. I'm so glad that you like that idea enough to get your own asshole goose. <laughs> I, I implore everyone to get their own asshole goose or butthead goose. It doesn't have to be a goose. If there's another uh, animal in your home country that is known for being a nuisance, um, definitely start getting butthole or butthead birds outside of your exhibits looking in because that that makes everything <laughs> hidden guess uh geese everywhere oh really oh no it's gonna be a uh, uh a scavenger hunt. hey steve hi steve it's steve the turtle then we have edwin hi edwin there's edwin the turtle y'all hear my dog chewing on his bone right outside my door <laughs> polluted natural oh so we're learning there like what's a polluted one look like oh see there's a bunch of oh it's so clever a bunch of garbage in there it's no good but here this is clean poor fish you have to sleep you have to swim inside the polluted one <laughs> press here to learn about pollution so here's what you're talking about with the billboard so no worries there we'll get that next time this interior is so good look at the piping coming out of it do 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 Animal off exhibit, come back later. No, I need to see it now. Dang it, the shipwrecks of Lake Superior. <gasps> that's such a cool idea, because that's a really big part of the Great Lakes history, or all the shipwrecks that happened uh, in it. And yeah, it's just a, <laughs> people usually don't think of that, but yeah, the, the Great Lakes are ginormous and have crazy weather. Um, so that's, that's a cool little uh, education area there. I totally thought that was the Great Lakes Brewery. Oh yeah, ooh, that'd be good, nice. So where the pipes are, there's a uh, backstage. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Cybris, don't ever feel like you said, I felt like you felt apprehensive to submit anything. Don't ever feel like that again, please. Please submit everything and more. <laughs> I mean, obviously do what you're comfortable with, but holy cow, you don't need to have apprehension about sending anything in ever. This is ridiculously good. You know me, I'm a sucker for a good backstage and this is... This is a good backstage. This is a good backstage. There's another couple buildings in the front. Good. Good. Let's keep going. I don't want this to stop. <laughs> Look at the top there. You got water towers and everything. Holy cow. All right. Let's boop out here. So we can get a good view of everything. Ah, I see. That's a nice uh, multi-use building, isn't it? To get us kind of throw around everywhere. That's, that's one of those buildings that you build that you can just put around a lot of different places. Hey, that's cool with the logs. Cool. Yeah, this I really like the shipwreck scene too. Interior is a work in progress. No, I'm gonna judge it fully. Wow, so you don't even have tram and you don't even know. <laughs> this is a cool backstage there. What is that? I don't know that I've seen that. That's a cool little feed thing there. Very nice there. 
Oh, and it goes into the bison backstage. Cool. Oh, man. Did you ever know there's a ship stuck at the top of Niagara Falls? Is it like a shipwreck? Really? It's still there? Can you see it? Or is it like engulfed by the way or the uh the water? So there's a nice interior there. The interior is literally under construction. <laughs> was this where we started? Yeah, it was. Okay, so let's go over this way. Yeah, this building is a mess. <laughs> uh, I, I understand what you're saying. It's going to be... It's one of those buildings where you're like, okay, I have got to do something with it. I have to. And then you're like, what? Not today. <laughs> Event center. Cool. Get married in here. There you go. Another Frank. Frank, you did not rent out the event center this week. Get out of here. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Contributors. There you go. So me, Mass Bandit, Mealy, Tove, Simply Savannah, and all, Bongos, Sean, Suicide Up, Haribo, Plastic Swans, Vigoga, ZZ, um, I, iPod, <laughs> Pixel Shadow, ooh, there's some names I can't pronounce, Creative Games, Just Goron, Leaf Productions, Lucas, Wyatt, Andrews, Moblung, Bold, some amazing names there. You used something of mine in here? What'd you use of mine? I didn't see anything. Uh, but anyways, I always love when people do that. Get stuff there. I love this. This is an awesome little event center there. Working on project. Hope to show it to you all when I join. Oh, nice. Can't wait, John. Yeah, whenever you're uh, feeling feeling good about it there, submit it on over. Right. I feel like... Are we missing anything else there, Cybris? Tell me no. <laughs> Are those poker tables? I didn't really take a look at them too much. I think they're just general tables, but you could definitely play some poker at them. <laughs> you could definitely play some poker at them, that's for sure. Alright, what did I miss if not anything? We're going to go ahead and boop out and move on there. Um, but yeah, this is a great, great zoo there. And I cannot wait to see some more uh, work in progress. Because uh, yeah, this is really, really fun to take a look at there. The reindeer have a backstage where it's barely anything, but it is something. <laughs> but it is something. So where were they? They were over here, right? There we go. Hey, there's a goose. I see it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Butthead goose. <laughs> hey, there you go. They're actually hanging out back here, too, a lot. Very nice. So awesome. Yeah, let's get some claps, hearts, all that fun stuff in there for Cybris for uh, submitting this. And yeah, again, cannot wait to see some progress updates there uh, on this project. Good, good, good. All right, last up for the day. I think it's last. Yeah, last thing for the day is going to be HDG Northwest Trail. And this is going to be from Citrus. Citrus Sai. So yeah, I can't wait to check this out. HDG Northwest Trail from Citrus Sai there. I think this is another work in progress zoo. Now it's my turn to be nervous. That's right. You get to end, end the whole uh, stream with, with your zoo there. <laughs> uh, poker tables. I'm in. There you go. <laughs> Very nice, MS Queen. MS Queen is all about the poker table. Some roulette, maybe. Get some uh, blackjack going to me. There's just all the fun stuff there. No slots, though, right? No slots. <laughs> no, no, can't can't waste all your money on the sluts there. All right, it's definitely a work in progress. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So cool. So is the Hav Ooh, oops, 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 oops. so the Javier de Grasse Zoo. I'm sure I butchered that. Apologies, but the HDG Zoo from Citrus. So let's see. Is this where we're starting? This is where we're starting. Very good. So cool. Let's go ahead and head on into little first plaza there get your tickets got the zoo store oh look at this get the little uh shop opening there you have the uh, door to get in there and change out the uh, set and everything very good get your tickets over that way sign up for a membership that's right got to sign up for those memberships all the way so head on in here Le french butcher i'm sure i did <laughs> oh i like the uh elevation changes very subtle Way down there. Let's go over to the guest services and everything. Is there an interior? Let's see. Nope, that's okay, definitely. And we have our first exhibit. Nice little... What is this here? Like an ocelot or something else? Very nice. Let's head on down. Oh, cool. Look, you have the uh, nice waterway coming down here. 
Cool. Northwest Trail. I'm totally going down this. I actually have a little trail coming down this way. Oh, hey, look, look, look. All these implied animals. It's a Pine Martin. There you go. Y'all have actual functioning zoos, and that's so impressive to me. Isn't it? Yeah, to actually complete a project or like, you know, have a zoo that works and stuff. Yeah, it's it's a big, it's a big thing. Over this way. Don't see anything in there, but there is a climbing structure above there. Kind of get a view. Oh, look at the itty bitty exhibits. Good stuff. Let's see if it's over here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, cool. I actually have the mod installed too. Uh, what is this called? The Eurasian Links. So there you go. Good thing I had the mod installed. So there you go. The Eurasian Links. Go between those two habitats there. Looks like there's another one here. Something going on in there. Yeah, aren't the, the great little small implied habitats? Yeah, it looks really good. There's a Frank. Hi, Frank. Oh, no, the water's doing that thing. It's not anything that Citrus did. It's just, it's the water since, I don't even know when, gets really borked looking <laughs> in some instances. So that's not glass. That's just the water not knowing what's... Oh, these are beavers, aren't they? These are totally beavers. So there we go. Some more geese. Look out for the geese there. Look out for the geese. They'll bite you. <laughs> I spy geese. Yep. <laughs> and down this way. I love this little trail that you have going through here. All right. Another really good exhibit here for the... What is this? The American Black Bear? Yes. I just downloaded this one as well. Do, 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 do. What's the average price of the tickets for y'all's local zoos? My, my local zoo's cost is, I think, 30-something bucks. But uh, my local zoo is also ginormous. It's like one of the biggest zoos in the uh, country, I believe. Really cool interior here. I think this is a sign from Bold, if I remember right. I've used that a few times. Very nice there. Not 30, 20. It's like 20. Over here we have a little restaurant there. What is this called there? The Bear Grill! Bear Grills! Remember Bear Girls? He had that show on Discovery Channel and he was like, I'm by myself, but not really. In the middle of nowhere. And I won't eat anything. Except for what's in the wild. Unless if I get too hungry, then I'll drink a high seat. Nice interior here. What is this flooring? Ah, a bunch of anchor plates. I forget that these are recolorable. Or flexi. Love that. All right, let's zoom up ahead here. Make sure that we didn't miss anything. We we'll change the lighting just a little bit. There we go. So there's some really nice stuff here. So yeah, the American Black Bear it looks. Oh, it shares the exhibit, right? Or there might be two of them between there. Cool. So it looks like that whole thing was the Northwest Trail there that we kind of walked down. Uh, I think that is the main part. Oh no, no. Hey, just kidding. Over here. <laughs> So we have a nice aviary here. Let's see who made this aviary set. This isn't just Goron, right? There was someone else that made this really cool modular aviary uh, set there. I, mean, I just used it in Thornton Hills Zoo as well, but fits in really nicely over here. Love that. Looks really good. Another big aviary there. I like that a lot. Yeah, all your little aviaries. Look at all the birds. <laughs> It's a rotational between the cougar and black bears. That's a cool idea, like a rotational type thing there. Lemur zone. There you go. So it's a bunch of lemurs in there. Yeah, now I see them. There's an interior as well. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. I like this barn over here, too. Let's take a look at that. There you go. I feel like, yeah, I was going to say, I feel like we'll be able to see some of the modded animals in here for the barn. Hey, these are really good, the little feeders. Cool, so here's all the air. Uh-oh, oh, he's just jumping. I thought he was escaping. <laughs> There's a little barn yard there with some sheep and goats. And um, yeah, I think, you got a lot of notes to yourself for uh, later on, but yeah, I think that is gonna go ahead and do it for the HDG Northwest Trail uh, update there. So cool. Cool, cool, cool. But hey, yeah, let's go ahead and wrap things up there. We'll get an animal to kind of focus on and kind of wrap up that way. There we go. What is this, the alpine goat? Yeah, the alpine goat. 
So cool. Hey, that's uh, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up our community showcase for the week, everyone. Thanks for putting up with me as I'm a little bit lower energy for sure. Uh, with the second vaccine really kicking my butt there <laughs> so um but yeah thanks everyone for hanging out i do appreciate it don't forget to go on to nexus and uh, the steam workshop and all the other places to download all of the uh all the things we have today make sure to like them favorite them uh comment on it always helps out the creators and everything there so um yeah really good stuff from everyone there so awesome hey thanks so much everyone for hanging out i always do appreciate it we will be live again on should be monday i believe i might take uh, monday off to wrap up Thornton Hill Zoo as far as like uh, recording and all that other fun stuff goes. But um, if not, we'll do um, we'll do something in Planet Zoo or something else on Monday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time there. So, and again, if you would like to submit anything, again, it can be mods, uh, showcase items, blueprints, zoos that are work in progress, be sure to join the Discord. There's a community showcase area there, and that's the only place that I will take them. I've had a few people direct message me uh, for them, and I don't I don't take them through DMs because it just is way too hard to keep track of everybody's stuff that way. So yeah, be sure to join the Discord and submit them through the community showcase tab, um, and get those in before uh, Friday at 10 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. So cool. Hey, thanks so much everyone for uh, hanging out today. I always do appreciate it. Thanks to our new members and our reoccurring members for supporting the channel thanks to ms queen for your donations today you are heckin awesome um and yeah hey we will catch you all next time have a good one bye